Naomi, I love you. And then like, I just got down on one knee like pretty much straight away. It's like, you know, literally just c come back. So like, so is that a yes? How did you feel at that moment? Hi, Hi everyone. I'm Naomi. I'm Jack. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Woo. Yeah, so I brought out the cardigan for this video. Getting serious. Like, I feel like it's added about 10 years to my life. Well, mm. it's cause we're talking about grown stuff today. That's true. That's true, we are. What are we going to talk about today now? Now, me. Now? <laughs> now. What are we going to talk about? Um, today, Jack, we're going to talk about how you proposed. Ooh, that's an exciting story. Oh my god, I've got my ring on. <sighs> Just a brief commercial break. If we were monetized, you could watch an advert whilst this happened, but we're not there yet. <laughs> if you like our video, that would be really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how you proposed. So, we're in second year, oh, I'm in my second year of uni, in my three year course. Naomi, you would be in your third, fourth, third? Mm -hmm. Second. No, we can't both be in second year. Yeah, I mean, third year. Two. Third year at uni. I've decided I wanted to propose, I decided in like March, and I'm thinking, okay, so when would be the perfect time to do it? And I'm thinking, oh, well, I need, you know, to make it into some kind of grand gesture. And I had thought about all these ideas, I was like, what can I do? It's like, you know, could I do something on the Thames because I get like Naomi had always spoken about like having a meal down by the Thames or something and having something float by and I was like oh my god I've got that much money I spent it all on the ring so <laughs> no like... so basically by the Thames they have like a little beach and I just thought oh someone had like a little picnic yeah and then I don't know like proposed there because I love the Thames I love London it's my favorite place and so I always told Jack that that would be like my dream way and now he's setting me up to fail because that's not what I did. It's not, but he, honestly, he out, what's the word when you- Outdid it. Outdid it, he outdid it. I don't think that's the word. He exceeded. surpassed, he exceeded, he, you know like God says, you surpass all, understanding, all. <laughs> oh my God, I need to go read my Bible. Anyway, he surpassed my expectations. It was phenomenal. Good. Well, so yeah, one part of it is that I thought if I do that, then, you would know what was happening as well. And I wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, we had discussed about going away on holiday after our um, second year, third year exams. So we both had really important exams. Yeah, year, it's the right? first time I'd ever had OSCEs. Um, so yeah. it was, and also it was an identical exam to the third year exam. So it was a really good predictor mm. of how I would do. Yeah. So, and it was, to be fair. It really yeah. was. You did yeah. well, didn't you? So basically, I thought, we, well, we, we wanted to go away on holiday after our exams. So, Naomi was stressed about planning the holiday because she's like, I've got to revise, I've got to revise, all this kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, well, let me take the pressure off. Um, let's set a budget and I'll book the holiday. And then I thought, this is a perfect opportunity for me to make some schemes, make some plans to surprise her. So, uh, we set a budget and we decided that we were gonna go to Morocco. I found, went on Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I don't know if you've been on this website, but if you want website. to find like A1 <laughs> hotels, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, very romantic, whatever. So basically I found the best hotel in Morocco that I could possibly afford. Um, so we did obviously agreed a budget, so Amy didn't think we were going somewhere particularly nice and I just yeah. sorted it out. So I got the ring and I have to say, flying with a ring is scary because <laughs> like, I had this ring in this box and I was like wow I'm carrying like the most expensive thing that I own with me on a flight and I'm like what if they want to check my bags or what if like you know want to open it and then I have to uh, explain or something I was like what if it comes up in the metal detector I was like I didn't want it to get checked I was so if you remember I was so anxious that they were going to like try and check my bag because we were flying Ryanair and sometimes they try and put your bags in the hold and I really did not want to risk putting my bag with the ring in the hold I don't even remember that. Anyway, so <laughs> we land. Say hi. We made it. Do We get a taxi to our hotel, and it's quite and it was quite a, a long way because uh, sorry we landed in Marrakesh, and then it was about an hour out of Marrakesh, overlooking the Atlas Mountains. This beautiful, really small boutique hotel built for like some prince. It only had sixteen bedrooms. Um, and just incredible views, literally as far as you Amazing. could see, there's nothing. We arrived at night 
um, which was great because Naomi couldn't see how nice it was. And uh, I could see it. It was really nice. I was like, wow, this is you so see, you nice. Could see it was nice. And I just underplayed it. I was like, yeah, no, I got a good deal. I got a good deal. And uh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I don't know why I didn't clock. Well, this is the point. So we so we arrived. It was a pretty late by the time we arrived, about 10 p.m. Um, and being a nice fancy restaurant, they basically kept the kitchen open for us. So we had like a private dinner in this really fancy restaurant the first night we got there. <laughs> Do you remember what did you say to me when we sat I was down like, for dinner? Jack, when you're ready, bring me back to this place. No, you were like, this would be the perfect moment propose. to propose. And then I was like, literally, no, I said, bring me back to this place when you're ready and propose to me here. This is the perfect place to propose. And I was thinking, and especially because there was no one in the restaurant, it was just me and him. I was like, what? It was so nice. Yeah. So I planned. So I planned that I was going to do it on holiday, but I'd always planned I was going to do it the next morning uh, because I wanted to do it in the daylight, outside, in the view and everything. And then I was thinking, oh shit, I haven't got the ring on me. I was like, maybe I should just do it now. I should just whip it out, that would be great. But my, the ring was in the room and there was a moment there and I didn't have it and I couldn't do it. So it's okay, so I just underplayed it and I was like, okay, yeah, maybe. I think I would have had a heart attack if you did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So it's like, maybe, yeah. So anyway, so we had a really nice meal and we went back. But do you remember you were saying that I was acting a bit weird? So the reason he was acting a bit weird, so we're in Morocco and I'm like, oh my God, this is a conservative place. And they referred to me as his wife. Mm. And then I was like, cause I had, uh, which I don't wear anymore. I have, um, I had a promise, a, ring. Prom promise ring, a forever ring, whatever it's called. And I was like, oh my God, Jack, I'm going to put it on my wedding finger. So, so that people think we're already married. Yeah, because I felt really and embarrassed. I, like, no. I know, and you were like, he had such he was so annoyed. He's like, no, don't put it on there. And I was like, just chill. Fine, I'll take it off. Yeah. Like, I can't believe I was like, it's you that can't, big deal. I can't propose to you when you've already got a ring on the finger and you're pretending to already be married. I didn't I like, know. No, because then, because the staff might be aware that that's what was, you know, that I was proposing. And they'd be like, well, you're already married. And it's like, you know. I didn't know. Anyway, I didn't so I was like, yeah, know. just don't wear the ring. And she's like, why, why? I can't. And I was like, just trust me, please. And it was a big fight. Well, it wasn't a big fight, but it was a lot of back and forth. And it was then just the, very the sulky. Did listen to me. So, anyway, we wake up in the morning, and uh, the room was lovely. And then we opened the curtains, oh. and then you could just see out into this beautiful it's so view. Nice. And then Naomi was like, "Okay, yeah, this place is really nice." <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, it is. I've got something to show you. I was like, it's really not like it's really nice down there. Let's go take some photos down yeah. by the pool. So like, let's get is dressed. Amazing. I'm so glad you did that. Yeah. Like, the, I'm so glad you did it on holiday because first I had my nails done already, and then you said let's take pictures. So I'm like, yes. So then yeah. I got my makeup done. I was feeling fresh. I was feeling ready. I ah. knew. I knew that you'd want to be feeling like on um, point. No, for, that was amazing. Them. So I was like, okay, well, how can we construct this? So I was like, yeah, let's let's go take some nice photos. Give you an opportunity to get ready, and then we'll go have a swim then we got ready and I'm there and I'm just thinking oh crap and then I've got the and I'm like how do I get the ring I was like I better get the ring out my bag when she's in the bathroom and then put it in my pocket so she doesn't see but obviously a ring box is a box it's like not a natural shape to have on you and it's hot so I didn't have a jacket to put it in so I had it in my back pocket of my trousers and I was sitting on it it was super uncomfortable and Naomi there's me trying to act chill like oh no it's all fine hoping Naomi doesn't see this big bulge just sticking out my butt <laughs> anyway so we take the camera and we go down uh and we wander down to the pool and we take some photos on the way and whatever and it's nice and my heart is like in my throat because I think oh my god this is what it's what it's build, been building up to I was like oh anyway I'm just like chilling ready for some photos excited yeah. just being like wow because now I can actually see the place in daylight I'm like this place is so nice I know and I wasn't really thinking about any of that I was just thinking oh my god how am I going to do this so we go down by the pool and there's no one there and it's like this beautiful morning it was a little bit cloudy which is a shame because you couldn't quite see the mountains as, as nice as I hoped, but anyway, I was like, okay, let's get this camera set up and we can take some 
some selfies. It was like some self timer photos. We had like a proper DSLR camera, which we set up. So there was me, and I was spending ages trying to get the exposure right so that Naomi looked good and all this kind of thing. And then I was coming back and forth, taking pictures and having to come in, check it looked good, going back. And anyway, so the self timer on this camera is 10 minutes. Seconds. Sorry, 10, 10 seconds, yeah. 10 seconds is not a lot of time to like press the button, go up to where Naomi was stood, start saying all the things and then actually propose. So <laughs> there was a couple of times I thought, okay, I'm definitely gonna do it this time. And I'd get up and I'd start, to, and I'd just be like, you know, and I'd look at her and I'd think, oh my God, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And before I know it, boom, the fuck camera has gone off. And I'm like, oh my crap. So I have to start that again, right? I was like, think Jack, what? You know, this is a beautiful woman is here. What are you gonna say? Like you have all these thought, thoughts and feelings, just say them, say them. And then I got up and I was like, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I think I said something like, I'm so happy to be here with you. I love you. And then, and then I started saying all these nice things and then boom, the camera went off again. And I was like, oh, and then Naomi was like, you're just saying all these nice things. And I was like, like yeah, I know. And I kept getting frustrated. Anyway. I still so, had no idea which is the worst bit. Yeah. So, all right. So then I was like, okay, right. I've just got to do it. I've just got to do it this time. And also I did, had wanted to video it. So I had Naomi's phone in my pocket and I was going to prop the phone up to video it as well. But I just completely forgot about that. Because uh, I was too busy thinking about this camera <laughs> issue. So, so anyway, the next time I go up and I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to do it. So... I think I just, what did I say? I think I literally just said something like, Naomi, I love you. And then like, I just got down on one knee like pretty much straight away before I said anything else to make sure I got it before the timer went off. Yeah. Right? And then what, and then what happened? I'm just... How did you feel at that moment? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm back in that state and I'm just like, I had no idea. Like, I was just like, like, I, yeah, I was speechless. Yeah, you really were. Yeah. Yeah, she just started, just like, like, she just started crying, fanning her face. I just, and then sort of, like, you turned away from me because you, like, you couldn't deal with it. And then, I know, to be fair, I also saw this, the ring and I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> this is a serious ring. <laughs> it wasn't a Haribo ring, no. <laughs> I was just so sure. I'm so glad I wasn't next to the swimming pool because I You've would have fallen in. I would have fallen in. I just, yeah, I so un, unexpected. Yeah, I think that this, your speechlessness now is a good representation of your reaction at the time. Anyway, so Naomi's wandering around. She just started crying and stuff, and I'm just there kneeling on the floor, and I'm like, you know, Naomi, come back to me. I was like, you know, literally, just come, come back. <clears throat> and I was like, you know, I had to say, so, like, so is that a yes? And she was just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> couldn't even say it. Couldn't even say yes. She was too happy or sad or I don't know what it was. She was thinking, oh God, this is the end. No, I was so sure. No, I know, I'm joking. You were obviously super happy. I was so happy. happy. You were. In that moment, honestly, I just, I was unprepared. So I, there was no preparation for my response so I did leave him do a little leave me hanging for a ages. little run around yeah. <laughs> and then you know because you just don't inva- I didn't envisage I'd be one of those dramatic people I thought I'd be like oh yes of course but I was wailing <laughs> you knew I'd be dramatic <laughs> I just I didn't know I don't think you'd be quite that dramatic I don't know I thought you were going to give me an actual answer anyway you forget to answer like obviously no, I'm super... married I always talk about like I'm like let's get married and yeah. married you know, I was like, God, we were already married beforehand, in my opinion, anyway. Mm. Yeah. So, it was super romantic. And then, it was amazing. we got to enjoy the whole rest of the holiday as like a, sort of like an engagement room. That was like, amazing. Engagement room, you know. Thank you.
Hi. Oh my goodness. So shower. What did you just feed me? It's peach. I was expecting a bit of apple when I got that. Oh my god, you eating fruit is so funny. I wish I would get to this. <gasps> Thank you, Missy.
So it was super romantic. And then it was amazing. we got to enjoy the whole rest of the holiday as like a sort of like an engagement room. That was like amazing. Engagement moon, you know. And people kept saying to me, they're like, Are you sure you want to do it at the start of the holiday? What if she says no? And I'm like, She's not going to say no. Like, no. Yeah. I think if you know, I think if you're asking someone and you're not sure. Don't do it. I mean, like, when Don't I say sure, it. you can never be certain of anything. But if you, like, actually have a genuine doubt, I mean, obviously you're nervous because asking to marry someone is a big deal. But I feel like, you know, you can be fairly confident that that person you know, is in the same place as you and loves you and is ready for a serious commitment. You know, I think it's obvious if you're trying to jump ahead. And if you think that there's a possibility that they're not in the same place as you and you're going to ask them to marry you to find out, that's a recipe for disaster. So, yeah, don't do that. Luckily, we were not in that place. Um, but I was still incredibly nervous. I think probably the, like, most nervous I've ever been. And, yeah, it's just super exciting. Even thinking about it now makes me... Excited. I was super excited and it was so, so nice because he actually had asked my parents beforehand yeah. so Go check out the video, video if you haven't seen it um, well actually maybe that was the most nerve wracking part of my life <laughs> to be honest with you this is the most exciting this was just anyway. everything he did was so perfect like it was just so perfect I would really recommend for people to keep it a secret as much as possible because yeah I kept it a secret a that is the biggest time. surprise I've ever yeah. had in my life I really wanted to keep it a secret um, which there's plus and cons to to that um but obviously as you see it wasn't a spontaneous thing so i proposed on june 10th um exactly one year before we got married and uh but i decided in like march that i was going to propose so i kept a secret for a long old time and i was pestering him i kept ugh, we'll, get we'll get to, to it that. we'll get to that the next video guys we're going to talk about my ring we we'll tried this <laughs> okay. we'll have to... my ring <laughs> rings to be fair I have two rings mm. um, but yeah until then oh I just realised I don't know if you guys can hear that on the video but there's this owl that's been tweeting for ages and just realised it was Naomi's alarm that's been going off so yeah. there, you go. there wasn't an owl at... in the bedroom <laughs> if you don't wake up at 8.45 you have to definitely wake up by 9.30 alright until next time guys like, S subscribe Yeah. turn on your notification bell and bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.